welcome back to part two of the elders so to recap let's go ahead and set it to one time speed while i talk here so we don't miss anything to recap we set in four kingdoms gave each of them four elders each the elders have immortal and demigod and regeneration although he has it because he's an orc so they got mega health they're all close to 200 years old now and a lot of them have been killed all of the steves have been killed all four elders for the humans have been wiped out and then bobopolis lost bob unfortunately borklava lost bark odon lost Don and uh, Don Eris was turned into a skeleton. So pretty much Bork is the only one left whose kingdom is named after them. Bob died from Bobopolis, Steven died from Steveria, Don died from Odon, and Bork is actually still alive in Borklava. Skeletons have been wiped out and we're back to normal. We have Undaenerys out here who's gonna be a nightmare for the orcs out here because when she dies, she blows up. So currently, who's at war with who? Let's do a little refresher here. Elves are are at war with the orcs the dwarves are at war with the humans and the orcs are at war with the humans and the elves so humans unfortunately are in trouble because pretty much everyone's trying to kill them and i think this might actually be the end of it oh burka just got killed oh Burke just got killed. More skeletons. Dang, we look away for two seconds and we lose two elders like that. Was it Undaenerys? Where is she? Where is she? Yes, it was. So she must have killed them all. So we lost a uh, skeleton version of Daenerys in there. And we lost Burke and Burka. But hey, Bork is still alive. So he's holding on to his Borklava. Okay, so we have a mixture of dwarves on one side and orcs on the other side. I think this is going to be it for the humans. Steve area, you know what? They really got picked on, but I really liked all of their elders. I liked how aggressive Steven was. Okay, wait, I just heard an explosion. Did we lose one? Oh, Gogo got killed, our chicken. Who would have killed the chicken? It was over here. Why would you do that? In the arms of the angel. Dang, okay, so we're down to six left. Three dwarf, two elf, one orc. The one that's orc though, look at that. 24,000 health though. Level 10. Uh, we got Donnie and Donna. We got Bork. We got Helga, Helen, and Roberta. Helen's level 10 as well. Right now, Borklava and Bobopolis population is very similar, but then Odon over here has like twice that. So it's kind of up in the air right now. Hey, Bobopolis has three elders left though. Steve Area was destroyed. I don't know why I just said that. That was a while ago. Rest in peace. We will miss you. Looks like Borklava is going to scoop up all the old land, which could be big for them. I don't think because Bobopolis and Borklava are allied right now, but I think both of them are at war. No, no, no. Just just the orcs are at war with the elves. Kind of good right now because the orcs can take their time. Oh, look at this. They're taking their time to expand into this whole desert area, all these grass plains left behind by the humans. And meanwhile, the elves have kind of hit the edge of their land. They're still branching out. In fact, they're trying to get these islands out here, which is good, but uh, really kind of hitting the edge here. So I think their population is going to slow down a teensy bit, whereas the orcs, I think, are going to shoot up here quite a bit. The dwarves, I'm not really sure what they're doing. Someone needs to take this island. Actually, you know what? That's a lot of rhinos. Maybe not. They just founded a new village. Oh, up here? Nice. Let's go. Okay. So what year are we at now? 2,500. What year was that at when we started? <laughs> I guess I should have looked at that. I guess we can check by looking at, oh, 200 years old. This map was ancient when we first started it, I guess. Dang. So we're about 200 years into it, I guess. Crazy town. Okay, we got elves out here fighting. Where's Bork? Bork? Oh, man. The elves are here in force. Oh, man. No elders. No elven elders, though. Just a whole lot of archers. Yikes. Okay. That is bad news for the orcs. Although the orcs are out here, too. Look at this. There's always a counterattack going. I've learned to just check for one now. As soon as someone gets invaded, just check to see if they're also invading at the same time. This whole elf area out here is pretty spread out, so they probably could destroy it if they really wanted to without too much trouble, but they'd actually have to get in there and do something. Um, down here, Bobopolis just declared war on the orcs, on Borklava. This is actually kind of bad news for the orcs because they're kind of weak right now. Their population's fine, but lots of their army was killed by the skeletons and by the elves. So I don't know, but I wouldn't want to have to deal with this right now if I was them. I know for sure that this village is not going to last because they're surrounded by like entirely dwarf territory. The elves are scary. They've got so much army out here. Okay, is this the dwarves? No, not really. The dwarves declared war, but they aren't really attacking that hard. They're just kind of hanging out. 
They're threatening. The elves, on the other hand, have been pretty aggressive with their attacks. Where's all of our dwarven elders right now? Are they just working? We got, yeah, one is working in the mines out here. I saw you. There you are. Who are you? Helen? Good for you. Getting your work done. Uh, Helga is like stuck. Oh, she's actually stuck. Must have gotten blasted from the uh, explosion when they killed either Stevia or um, Gogo. Dang, okay. You're free now. Is that all of them? Don't they have one more? Roberta? Where's Roberta at? Oh, she's out here. She's on the island. Okay, all right. You go, girl. Okay, what's going on here, huh? Little orc army out here. The dwarves are almost, they're past 900 now. They're gonna hit 1,000 pretty soon here. Oh, there we go. Take their land. Oh, they got an elder up here too. Oh, it's Bork. Bork is out here defending. Yeah, good luck getting past Bork. He's freaking got 77 kills. He's max level. Good luck, dude. Ain't nobody stopping that guy without their own elder. It's gonna take all the dwarf elders to take Bork down. Crazy. Yeah, these orcs are just out here shooting boats. They managed to get across the water, but now they're just sitting over here shooting the boats. They, they could have done that from over here, but uh, who am I to say, you know? I think I'm some kind of smart guy or something. The elves population is kind of being left unchecked there. What, who dropped all these people off, dude? What kind of, what kind of prank was this? Tiny little like 10 foot wide island. They dropped like 100 people off. Oh, a village was destroyed. Dwarves out here wrecking havoc. Is this Bork? Bork over here? Yeah, Bork's over here. 134 kills now. This village is probably going to be untouched for a long time. I can't imagine anyone's going to make their way all the way out here. It's not even like a good island. I'm actually really surprised they bothered to come over here. I guess they needed more stone or something. Do what you got to do, I guess. Okay, Bobopolis is about to break a thousand population. Odon has been kind of struggling around the 1500 mark. Meanwhile, Bobopolis catches up. With them being at war with both dwarves and orcs at the same time, Time, it's really weakened them. Oh, look at this. The skeleton war continues. Dang. Oh, it's Bork. They did 4,000 damage to him, though. That's pretty good. But alas. Oh, now the dwarves are here for him. Bro, what the heck? They want him dead. Dude, he's down to 8,000 health. They did, what is that? 16,000 damage to him? Between the orc attack and the elf attack, that was crazy. If they just did that one more time, another, like, arrow volley, they could potentially kill him, but he's gonna start healing pretty soon here. I want Bork to survive. I'm not saying I want him to die. He's the only last standing orc elder, and I want him to, I want him to keep at it. Okay, Bobopolis, almost to 1100. Okay, the elves, actually, oh, they took these islands. Look at that. They took both of these big jungle islands. They're at 1700 now, inching towards 1800. I think it might be obvious, but I think the next one to go is definitely going to be the orcs. They're very much being scattered kind of from every angle right now. You've got the elves just not giving them a break from this side. And then we keep getting these like elite squadrons of dwarves down here um, attacking too. Of course, now they have to deal with Bork. Ooh, elves over here too. Jeez. But yeah, the elves are not going to let them live, man. Let me tell you. Oh, let's go. All right, where's Bork at? Look at this. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the dwarves are crazy now. Okay, Bork's down here is doing some work. Healing ever so slowly. 291 kills. Remember, like, not that long ago, we had 134? That's a lot of kills, my friend. He is defending this land like no other. Here they come. Is it going to be enough to bring Bork down? He's just killing them before they can even get close. They're just doing nothing to him, yep. If they could all just dogpile him all at once, maybe, but they're kind of attacking him like a few at a time, and he's just destroying them. He'll be fine. The dwarves need to send in some of their elders. Helen's still in here working the mines. Helga was the one that was stuck, right? Where'd she go? I know I can find her with the thing, but I was kind of hoping I could see what she was up to manually. I don't know, man. Where are the elf people at? Oh, working in the mines? Oh, man, both of them are. Just defending home base. Someone's got to do it. Dang, they boosted up so much. They're almost a 3,000 now. They went up a 1,000 since last time I checked. That's crazy. That's with them being at war with the orcs this whole time, too. Oh, Bork. Bork was killed. Must have been that dwarf army that was running around. They must have finally caught up to him. Wow. The elves show up right afterwards. We're here to kill Bork. A little bit late, dude. All right. The orcs officially have no elders left. And the elves have no maidens. <laughs> I would be down to root for the elves, but I just am sad that Dawn's not part of it. Like, Donna and Donnie, like, don't get me wrong, you guys seem cool and all, but, like, I don't know you, you know? I don't know you the same way that I knew Dawn. Dawn and me, we went way back. The things 
we went through. The orcs are hanging on. They have like two tents and like a windmill. Surprised the elves haven't killed them yet because they're all over this island. They just haven't actually found this last little bit here. This island, no one's been here yet other than them and same for here. So I don't know. Surprised the dwarves haven't taken this yet, but they might be scared of the rhinos, which is fair. I wish it would tell me when one of my favorites got into combat or like got low health. Cause sometimes, you know, I'm trying to keep track of them, but they'll be like chilling in the mines for like a hundred years. And then suddenly they'll blow up because something killed them. And I'm like, huh, couldn't you have warned me? All right, where's this boat going? Let's follow him. This one is full of so many troops. Where is it gonna be? Taking them to attack somewhere or just sit in the water? Water? Okay, that's cool too. Oh, they're picking up more? Surely not. What are you doing, huh? They're picking up a few more. Don't make me stop watching you. Okay, I will. Okay, are the elves and dwarves at war? No, look at that. They are surely not. At this point, I just want them to get wiped off. Like this, there we go. There we go. Now we got less to pay attention to. So this whole land is pretty good land for someone else to scoop up if they wanted to. I foresee the elves taking it, but I'd really like to see the dwarves take it because they're already on this land mass already and they really could use more land because their population is lacking very much. Here we go, another dwarven boat piling in. Let's see where this one goes. Wait, hold on. Uh, oh, someone took over the island. It's the dang corrupted elves again. Jeez, oh, <laughs> and the dwarves showed up late for this one too. Bro, it's gonna be wild once the elves and dwarves declare war. I'm honestly really surprised it hasn't happened yet because typically the dwarves declare war on the uh, elves pretty quickly there. They don't like each other. It's okay, the elves are taking this land, but the dwarves are pushing out into it. They got almost 1,600, 4,000. Okay, it's not close, but it's not unwinnable because remember, the elders can potentially kill like hundreds of regular people before dying so and bobopolis has three of them still so i mean of course they're all sitting at home working in the mines so they really need to get out there and help um which that might not happen so but hey at least their homeland is heavily defended i don't know where's roberta okay she's out here farming tiny little island it's something oh the elves have made it to this desert place the last continent for the orcs who are sitting at 700 population, which is not too bad considering how they've been pretty much under constant war since like, I don't know, the last hundred years or so. Also, how long is it? 330 years? Acceptable. Uh-oh, the orcs, what are you guys doing out here? You're gonna try to take this land? Surely not. Okay, did you do it? Oh, this was destroyed. Is this dwarves out here? Yep, 480. Yeah, this is gonna be it. Oh my gosh, dude. These armies that elves keep dropping off are so crazy. They haven't even wasted any time with swords. That's just all bows. They just drop them off on the corner and just obliterate everyone in like a 20 foot radius. Gotta love to see it. Also, this is still going on here, which is still hilarious. It's only a matter of time before they all die of old age, but they must have, they must be repopulating because, no, oh, maybe not. I feel like this was long enough ago that they should already have all died from old age. But I don't know. I guess we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, I don't know if the elves left or what, but they're gone. Why are the dwarves not taking this area? This would be some great land to take. Sooner than later, probably. Oh, the dwarves are here too. Looks like the orcs are taking this island back. Just do it, dwarves. Just, just finish them off. Put them out of their misery. Man, look at that population. 4,500. This is it. The dwarves are so kitted out. Like, look at this. They got, well, they just look like they've got good items, but they only have weapons. This guy's got a stick still. Huh? I don't know. The orcs are actually holding their ground pretty well. Look at the absurd amount of boats just chilling out here, though. These are all transport boats, right? Like, orc transport boats? What are you transporting, huh? Your whole civilization's like practically wiped out. Yeah, the elves are now here to take their turn at being mean to the orcs. Best of luck to you. Dwarf population is like going up really fast and then down really fast. I think they've broken 1900 a couple times, but then they always go right back down again. Elves are getting close to 5,000. They were really aggressive in taking all the land right after the people that lived there got killed. They took this, took all this. I mean, heck, well, I don't know, maybe not. The dwarves were good at that too, because this used to be all human land and some of it was orcs. So they've been good at swooping up the land swooping okay elves broke 5,000 dwarves still stuck around 1900 stuck in the 1900s man we got the elves and dwarves attacking at the same time i don't know why they keep not being able to take it i guess the orcs that are on this island are just like super strong or something because yeah how many times are we gonna see this get dropped off and then nothing change over here 
Just do it. Just do it. Just go over there. Do it. Where are you going? Stupid. I would love to someday, when this game is less early access, I would love to see some updates with more options to like behaviors. Not so much rules, but just sort of like settings, like extra aggressive, where all the wars are more aggressive. Because wars like this, like this, right? We have like 200 dwarves right here, ready to fight, and they're at war with the orcs. You'd think they're here to kill all of them, right? But then they won't. They'll just hop on a boat and leave again and uh, nothing will happen. And I would love a setting that says, hey, when there's armies, they will fight. Because the war behavior is pretty weird to watch without that. Like, look at this. They got all this going on in the center of their territory and none of it's defending, none of it's attacking. And here come the dwarves. I wonder if they're gonna wipe everyone out. Nope, back on the boat every time. I'm not surprised that the elves did as well as they did because they're so strong on big maps because they just populate like crazy. Um, but I am happy to see that the, the dwarves are in second, that they made it this far. They wiped out the humans and they've actually been a huge part of wiping out the orcs as well. Good job, uh, dwarves. You actually applied yourself and part of it was luck. No one really declaring war on them. Um, even still, they're not at war with the elves, which would probably be their downfall if they were. We'll see how how long that lasts we got the dwarves out here finally taking out the orc village looks like yay they did it okay desert orc village is gone they still have 250 population though and they only have this tiny little island ha very interesting okay let's see if anyone takes it down at least when it's a small enough island like this once an army gets dropped off that pretty much is the end of the island because everything's within range oh here we go dwarves let's go nice Look at them go. The dwarves do look really cool when they're in their warrior mode like that. Dang, okay. Let's see, it hasn't said Borklava was eliminated yet, but because they saw all these boats. Elf village was destroyed? By who? Huh? By who? Is this always here? That looks so weird. Dang, man, like I said, when they finally declare war on each other, holy smokes. <laughs> Look at this. Two massive armies from a different kingdoms, like, working on the same tiny island. Look at that. When they declare war on each other, it's going to be madness, dude. But hey, that's it for the orcs, man. bork has gone. Bork, Burk, Burka, and Bark fought their best. There it is officially. Kingdom bork was destroyed. That's gonna do it for today's part. What? You know what? No. No. Uh, uh Nope. That's going to do it for today. We're going to do this in a three parts. I would say that we could probably put on fast forward and whatever and see what happens here. But this is going to be a long war for these two to come down to it. They haven't even declared war on it yet. And I don't plan on forcing that. I think that they should both get to choose when to declare war. And uh, I guarantee you we will not do more than one more part. Uh, we will, however long part three has to be. That'll be it. Part three will be the end of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you have not. I will see you guys in part three. Should be up in the next couple days. And I'll see you then. Bye.